Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Donna Shazu, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Well, you've got an important topic I just think needs to be discussed. You're here to talk about intervention. Let's get started. Tell me about that. Intervention, you know, is a show that started many years ago, and it really kind of blew the top off of, of what addiction is about, what the family disease is about, what the word intervention means, how it works, and how to get people help, and how to give people hope. It's a hard show to watch, and, and you guys have great ratings, but I even just watched the uh, prelim, and, and, and it's very emotional. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the, the people that allow you into their lives to film them. You know, those people, they need help, and they have a family member who's addicted, and they don't know what to do, and they don't really understand what's going on, and it's getting worse, and we come in and try to educate the family, try to help the person that's addicted to get them out of the system, to get them to treatment and get them help, continue to follow up with them, and hopefully they will stay sober and they'll be able to help other people stay sober. When you say sober, are we talking about the intervention is just for a certain type of problem or people who have, you know, different kinds of addiction problems? You know, uh, the show primarily focuses on alcohol and drug addiction, but there are other types of uh, addictions, you know, gambling, uh, eating, and, you know, all sorts uh, and kinds. But we focus on intervention on A&E um, on alcohol and drug addiction, and particularly we're focusing on the opioid addiction right now, uh, particularly this season. So the opioid addiction, and please forgive my lack of knowledge, this is real. Pardon me, I'm sorry? The opioid addiction, this is real. You know, we sit yeah. at home and we consume this news, and, and and I'll use this term, that is that we don't know if it's fake news or just news to get us to do something. So this is real. This is your, your ver verification for us. It's, uh, it's very, very real, and it's happening in almost, you know, every state, you know, uh, in the United States. Um, the opioid addiction has uh, killed many, many people. Um, people are dying daily from it. Um, it started out primarily with people taking pills, you know, um, some type of painkiller. And, you know, what happens, you know, is after you can't afford pills any longer or you can't get them from doctors, people then run to heroin. And, and that's why, you know, uh, there are a lot of areas where they have actually what they call a heroin hub or a heroin triangle where there's a community of people that are on heroin and that's all they do. I know you have a deep understanding of this from reading your background and your bio. What does this do for you seeing these people go through this, but then maybe sometime emerging victorious? What does this do for you? You know, it gives me hope, you know, that what I'm doing in my life and what my purpose here is, is to help other people to achieve sobriety. You know, I needed it. I had to get help. It was not easy for me to get sober, and it's not easy for anyone to get sober. It's actually easier to stay sober than it is to get sober. So we're here at a time when they really need it in the beginning of their journey to try to carry, help them carry through the beginning uh, of their journey to wherever it's going to take them, hopefully staying sober one day at a time and helping others. The intervention takes place as what they're saying is the epicenter of the drug epidemic on the East Coast. Is can you explain that a little bit to us? You know, as I was uh, saying earlier, there's areas, you know, all over the country, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, South, you know, where people are affected by the opioid addiction right now. So we go into these different areas, and, um, and we have family members who've reached out, and they have a, a loved one who needs the help. We go in, try to help the family, try to help the loved one, kind of wrangle them, you know, out of where they're in their daily disease of doing their daily walk of getting money to get high, try to kind of jolt them out of that, get them to a treatment center, get them detoxed, and allow them the opportunity to, to get sober and to change. This sounds like real TV. My final question will be, what do you hope for the people watching, those of us who are watching, those of us who are not addicted to drugs? You know, it's like cigarette smoking. You know, all of us who don't smoke watch the commercials. 
Right, right, right. You know, you know, for the audience, you know, it's information, it's understanding, it's maybe not having um, such a harsh feeling and words for people who are addicted, you know, to, to drugs because it's not that they want to be addicted to drugs, it's just that they cannot stop, you know. It's the disease of more. And on our show, we're showing how people can stop, hopefully stay stopped, get stopped, and how their family can be helped in the terms of their understanding of what has gone on with their family member and how they can change and their whole family dynamic can change once the addict gets sober. The show is called Intervention on A&E. When do you want us to watch? Tuesday, August 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Donna Shazu, you are just a great representative. Thank you for coming on the Valder Beebe Show, and we will be watching, and hopefully our hearts will be open. Thank on you. On A&E, by the way. On A&E, the great station. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to My Phone Pouch 